So we are in casa, which can, trans can be translated as uh, uh, at home in English. Uh, in casa is based in Barcelona in Spain, uh, was born uh, at the beginning of 2020. Uh, after uh, quite a few years in the telecare and digital care space with a, with a previous experience, a pre previous company, a different technology, last year we decided to create something uh, which is the new category and a new concept in the market, which is smart homes for seniors. So the smart is smart is a key word here, smart homes for people who don't have access to smart homes. And those are mainly senior uh, seniors, senior people, but also people with uh, special needs at home, not necessarily because they have to stay at home all the time, but they need help at home and the home needs to be smart. So we created uh, AI, artificial intelligence that uh, lives at home together with the uh, people who live at home and uh, runs in the background and does a lot of things for them uh, to help them on the on the everyday life. So that's a, basically the concept. We are about eight people today. Uh, all here in Madrid and uh, Barcelona, and we are seeking out uh, to expand mainly in Europe, uh, at least this year, next year. Yeah, so uh, the, the main benefit is uh, in the word smart. Uh, within Casa, the, the home becomes smart. The home starts to think in very simple terms. Uh, and try to organize uh, the life and help with the life, everyday life, uh, its occupants, especially, like I said, senior people, people with some kind of limitations. So um, having uh, the intelligence prepackaged and prepared at home, that's one benefit. The other very, very uh, uh, apparent benefit, we created a, a, a home care protocol together with Incasa, as part of Incasa. It's, it's part of the, the philosophy in Incasa that there is a home care uh, uh, algorithms protocol in the in the human translation of algorithms uh, that is there 24/7. So with Incasa, the home starts to think in terms of care in terms terms of how to how do i care for these people how to, uh, do i help these people okay so this is very very key because uh on the smart home world which is very uh is quite widespread all around the world today many people have uh, smart homes or are going to have smart homes uh, you are actually interacting with devices so it's a technical product it's like your smartphone in Casa is a very human product. It's, it's humanized by the use of a care protocol. So that is a key thing. And the care protocol for those who are technical is at the end of the day, software, okay? But for those who are not technical or don't want to talk uh, on, on technical terms, the care protocol is what would, you would do to take care of that people at home. Yeah, so the the uh, the main solution or the main platform solution is a home kit. So a series of, uh, of devices that you install at home or someone can install that for you at home, very simple to install. So there is a, a certain level of hardware you have to install at home, mostly ambient sensors, temperature, illumination, climate, uh, smoke, water, those kinds of things that could happen, could be at home for good or bad. So that's one thing. Of course, uh, you have all kinds of sensors uh, for doors, accesses. There is hardware to install, not much. The, the basic hardware starts with about six sensors, uh, but you can grow that uh, with the new sensors uh, uh, with the years, with, the, with your needs. So that, that basic platform is what you would install physically 
and uh, it's a standard of the industry. It's called Z-Wave standard. It's all around the world today in Google homes, in uh, Amazon, other you know big names in the smart home industry uh, use this technology. So we are using a widespread technology. We don't. We are. We are not stuck to a particular proprietary hardware. So that's one thing. The number two thing uh, is the software, of course. Software comes in embedded in the product. We develop that, we put that into the product and we ship the product to, together with the hardware. So the hardware and software go come together that you don't need to download uh, anything. I mean, in this particular case, you don't need to do that. You just install and it works. And number three component is the service. The service the, the main service that we provide, of course, is besides selling all this stuff and, and installation uh, and you know support, the main service is to adapt those home care protocol rules or algorithms uh, with time, because time is going to be important. People get older, get older. We all, uh, next year, that same person may need a new care protocol with additional functions to take care of him or her. So we do that for them. We send those additional uh, protocol rules into that home uh, without the need to go to the home. We send that to the home and the home becomes more intelligent. So you have a hardware, you have the software, which is embedded, and then you have services. And number four, to finish this uh, a little bit of a long answer, there is a lot of room for services provided by others. So if you want to uh, create a uh, Incasa ecosystem in uh, your city, uh, you can do that. You can use our platform by uh, by using our partner program. You can use our platform to deploy that service tailored to your place, to your city, your language, etc. Yeah, that's uh, something we are exploring uh, with a lot of interest. Uh, I mean, it's in the name <laughs> to start with, okay? But uh, because we are a platform, and we are, uh, we want to be perceived as a platform. So I think platform uptake uh, can certainly help in uh, making our name, associating our name with a, the platform for home care, the platform for for home care for the elderly. And for seniors, mostly, um, you, you know, platform take has a, access to things that we don't have, have access to uh, uh, projects, uh, grants, uh, network. We don't have access to. We are just a startup, so it's extremely important for us to interface with you guys and uh, and you know mutually uh, provide uh, assistance. Okay, to get there. Yeah, so a couple of things. First, uh, this is uh, as many probably, but this is a project that has been born inside of our emotions. Okay, not because we are particularly Latin and very emotional, which is true, but uh, we have been around the world. People who are associated with me and myself, I've lived in many, many countries. And um, Europe, when you come to Europe, and I made the decision 10 years ago to reside in Europe, Europe for, uh, for probably forever. You you immediately when you uh, come to, into Europe, you see how many elderly people are here, well taken care of. I mean, it's, it's a lot. Of, it's an elderly population of about 100 million today, in Central Europe, European Union, 100 million, and well taken care of. I mean, there is a lot of infrastructure for the elderly, but the home was not. In the equation was not part of the equation, which explains a number of uh, uh, bad things that happened in the last few months um, with the pandemic, for instance, to the elderly population, because the home uh, was sometimes very, very far away from uh, the family of the same elderly people. So we uh, at Incasa we created actually Incasa from that emotion, from that emotional connection to to create a bridge between the home and the rest of the world. And number two, there is a lot of technology, um, a lot of technology that can use in Casa. 
they can benefit from in casa. We are not going to develop all the technology. We want the home to be smart. Once the home is smart enough with us, it is a intelligent object for other technologies. And those technologies I'm not going to mention, there's a long list, but you can imagine and, and uh, uh, whoever is watching at this is, is going to find the connections. There's a lot of things you can do with a smart home that talks to the world of, uh, you know, of technology. Thank you.